My name is Emily Staley. I am here at the Grand Design Reflection Plant. I am here with Greg Cody. He is a product manager over here at Grand Design. We are live with you today wanting to talk about the Arctic package. And we're gonna take the reflection line just because this happens to be where we are today. Um, Greg, I wanna talk to you about the different construction of the floor that helps with the Arctic package that we offer. Awesome. So for our travel trailers, uh, 150 series and three of our uh, uh, reflection fifth wheels, the 29RS, the 28BH, and the 31MB all have a laminated uh, floor construction. So we have our Darko underbelly on here, which is a moisture and rodent deterrent. Then we have one layer of Luon, which is an eighth of an inch thick. We have an inch and a half uh, uh, high density styrofoam for our insulation and then sandwiched in between there is double layer Luon um, and we stagger the seams for added strength and support as well. We also do uh, aluminum studs in there for extra support and everything as well. Um, so that's going to be your travel trailer um, and uh, your 150 series and 31 MB, 29 RS, 28 BH floor construction. Okay, so that's some of the reflection line. What about the rest of it? So the 303 and larger, uh, that will have a, a two by three aluminum stud, 16 on center with a 5 8 decking, uh, one piece decking on top of that. And then in between there, you'll have the Darko underbelly on there. And then you'll have uh, batten insulation in between there for the in insulation as well. Okay, so when we kind of think about insulation, um, this foam yep. is the same thing as the batten insulation or the fiberglass. Yeah, insulation. they both have the same R values to them, just two different, uh, um, two different, uh, products. yeah, two different products that you know give you a good insulation. Where this is going to be more of uh, weight, um, and you know we're more conscious on the weight part of it. Um, where in the bigger uh, reflection fifth wheels, weight isn't so much a focus, so it's a little bit different construction uh, feature on there. But yeah, both of them uh, do very good for insulation. Okay, um, and so then obviously there is the term subfloor that comes up quite a bit. Yep. Subfloor is underneath this between your floor and the bottom of the trailer, correct? Yes, yep, okay. so it'd be like the floor sets right on top of here. The air uh, comes in between here, and then on the bottom part of it, we have the thermofoil insulation that is laminated to uh, the underbelly. So you have all your warm air that floats around in here. It's insulated by the floor, and then this is reflective heat. So then that will reflect it, keep it in between there where the tanks and all the, everything else is at as well. Um, so on the fifth wheels, we have our fifth wheels and travel trailers. We have a two inch heat duct that comes directly off the furnace and you'll see at this vent, that vent uh, here, um, those are like gray black freshwater tanks, it terminates and uh, you, so it air directly blows onto each one of it. You can see it up here. We got one uh, right here at this holding tank and then we have another one back here at this uh, freshwater holding tank as well. That, it directly comes off of the 35,000 BTU furnace and um, we, we take it a couple steps further too. We take the, uh, or any of the heat in here, it'll, your furnace is gonna be located right in here. And uh, there's a duct here that puts it all into the pass-through storage and as well as it's heated in the pass-through storage. And then up into, or underneath, or behind the toilet, we put a, a vent that just allows the air to come from here to here, up into the main unit to recirculate the air to keep the air flowing and moving so we don't create any stagnant air anywhere. Okay. So, but that is on a fifth wheel. So travel That's trailers a fifth wheel. a little bit different. They, they now have the um, tubing going to the water distribution panel? Yes, yeah, so we've always had it kind of close by there. It was always like right up in here where the monitor panel is here okay. or the uh, water panel is here. Um, but now uh, we've taken it up and put it right up into uh, behind there so it has its own duct blowing in, uh, up there as well into the pass-through storage. So even though it's not technically on it in some of the older models, it was still receiving heat? Yes. Okay. Yep, yep. We've always uh, put it up there close by, but off customer feedback and everything, we've uh, took the extra step and, and, that's and put it in there. because we're really big about customer feedback and yes. implementing what our customers want. So yep. um, let me make sure I understand this right, just because I have to visually so here's my floor. This is my 
Um, Darko. Thank you, Darko. Yeah. And there's no thermal foil in this floor at all. No. Because what would happen is if I had thermal foil and this thermal foil, it mm -hmm. would just it would bounce and it wouldn't do anything, right? Well, we would if we put it on the bottom of that, the air would blow down in and then blow down, but there would be nothing here except for the underbelly, so then it would just go straight through. Okay, so this is reflecting the heat up so that it just stays within that subfloor, which yep. is just the, the part that's beneath here where all of your holding tanks are. Yes, so you have insulation in between the, the bottom part of your frame and the top part of your frame to keep the underbelly warm. Gotcha. So just, yeah, keep top and bottom and keep it, uh, keep the air in, in, in or underneath here, so. Okay, um, is there anything you can think of that these wonderful owners need to know about this system? Uh, it is a 35,000 BTU furnace on all of our stuff. And these four inch heat ducts are running into, um, uh, you know, up into the islands, up into the bathroom and stuff. So you will get some extra radiant heat coming off of those heat ducts as well. Um, and, but other than that, that's pretty much the short and sweet and, uh, of it, so. Um, we did have, we did start making corrections on some of the things. Um, talk about what the foil we used to use as compared to this foil. Okay, so it's the same foil that we've always used. Uh, it's just a different application process. So before we would put the underbelly on, uh, the, the corrugated plastic, we put that, uh, the black stuff on, and then we put the thermal foil down on top of that. Gotcha. Um, so uh, this company came to us, they laminated this for us. Um, and it's always going to be nice, neat, clean under there, uh, one less step uh, for production. And uh, so just help with our quality and everything too. Okay, well, if you guys have any questions whatsoever um, about your build or anything like that, or if you have um, anything, anything at all, give us a call. Our customer support team can be reached at 574-825-9679, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 Eastern Standard Time. You can also reach out via email, customer service at granddesignrv.com. We'll be happy to go over any of these questions that you might have in regard to this. Um, yeah, if you still have questions, you can always post them underneath in the comments and we'll do our best to make sure we get the answers to those. But I wanna thank Gray. I wanna thank everybody at the reflection plant that was allowing us to come in here um, once production was finished. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Stay warm, it's still very frigid in Indiana and we're doing our best to stay warm here.